And we're back! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. It is so weird to be filming back in my room again. I'm finally home from my seven months away on the cruise ship, and I'm just really grateful to be home safe. And as scary as everything is going on in the world, um, I wanted to take a moment to try and get our minds off of all of that and do a little question and answer video for you because I am stuck inside for two weeks. I think it's day six now. So I asked you on Instagram and on YouTube to ask me any questions you want to know. So I have a list on my phone that we're just going to go through. And um, that's all I have to say. Let's, uh, let's get on with the questions. First question on the list is, when is my next contract? So I'm supposed to be going back in June to a new ship, um, or a different ship, I should say. I'm not returning to the Allure, but with everything going on, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, all we can do right now is kind of wait and see because it's still about three months out, so a lot can change in that amount of time. That is the plan as of right now, and I'm very excited. How did you start slash apply for the cruise ship shows? So, um, I did a whole video on the process, but quickly to sum it up, I just made a show reel uh, with all of my best elements, so jumps, spins, show tricks. I sent that in along with a paper resume of all my skating accomplishments, and then basically I had a phone interview, and then I was hired. How did you get into skating and decide to make it into a career? So my mom actually was a figure skater and one of my coaches. She was Minnie Mouse in Disney on Ice years ago. So that's kind of how I got my start into skating. For as long as I can remember, I knew I wanted to do ice shows once I was done with my competitive career. It's an amazing job. You get to travel and meet all new people. And to me, it's not even a job because it's something that I love to do and something I've done my whole life. Oh, this is a good question. What do you want to do with your fashion degree? If you guys don't know, I have a degree in fashion and textile technology with a concentration in merchandising. Um, and I did not forget about that degree. I do want to use it in the future. As of right now, I want to skate professionally for a very long time. I don't really have like an end year in mind. But once I'm done with that, my end goal is to start my own business. Um, I really want to open a online boutique. But I also would really love to be a fashion stylist, either for TV shows, movies, music videos, or even like a personal stylist. Will you work on a ship again? Yes, I will. We don't know when that will be, but hopefully June, like I said before. But who knows? Did you have to pay for the food you ate on the ship? No, I did not. Um, that was one of the biggest perks of working on the cruise ship was that all my meals were covered. As far as the mess goes, you just go and you can eat whatever, whenever you want. If you decide to eat at the specialty restaurants, all things that the guests have to pay for, you also have to pay, but we get a crew discount, which is really nice. What restaurants from home did you miss most on the ship? Definitely pizza and wings. I really am dying to go to Frank's, if you're from Buffalo, I hope you know what Frank's is. Saigon, Bangkok. That's my favorite Thai restaurant in Buffalo. And Agave. It's my favorite Mexican restaurant. Was it hard to get accepted into Royal Caribbean? For me, uh, I was very fortunate to be selected for the position, but I do realize that it's a very competitive field because there's only 10 in a cast per ship, at least for skating, and they get tons of entries, so I'm very lucky I was picked and very grateful. Um, but as far as the other departments go, I'm not really sure how that process is with the applications and everything. Does another ice cast replace you guys the day after your last show or a few days? So usually our last two weeks we have a handover with the new cast, which means we finish our last two weeks of shows and the new cast is already learning the show so that once we finish our last show, the next cruise, they have their opening show. That's usually what happens unless there's a dry dock, which was the case for my cast. And then the new cast was supposed to come, I think in like a month from now. Do you have any siblings? I have a brother. 
Uh, he is three years older than me and he currently lives in New York City. How long did it take you to rehearse for the show? Like I said before, uh, there's a two-week handover, which means when you sign on, you have two weeks to learn and clean up and open the show. So we learned our show in about a week-ish, and then we spent the second week just cleaning all the numbers and getting everything comfortable uh, we did all our costume fittings, and I also did all of my trainings for the ship itself. It's a very busy two weeks, but it's possible. How many shows a week did you have? We had five shows a week on the Allure, but it varies from ship to ship because every show is different, and some ships have two shows. Places to go where you visited. Restaurants, clubs, attractions, beaches. I really recommend renting Jeeps when you go to Cozumel. So we went to Mega, got a bunch of groceries, and kind of had a picnic on the beach, which was so much fun. In San Juan, I would recommend going to the Fort for sure, but I also loved the stuffed avocado shop. That was my hands-down favorite place in San Juan. Coming back to London soon. I really hope so. <laughs> Uh, London is my favorite city. As of right now, I don't have any set plans to go to London, but I would love to go back, hopefully, after my next contract. Fingers crossed. What was your favorite part of working on a cruise ship and least favorite? My favorite thing, hands down, was how close-knit it felt. Um, it really felt like a family because you see the same people every day, like 25 times a day. You just keep running into the same people. That way you can build a ton of connections with people from all over the world and I just find that really special. And my least favorite, I think the seriousness of the responsibility you have working as a crew member, because if there was an emergency, we are in charge of handling the guests and making sure that everyone is safe. The responsibility of that is very large and a little bit stressful. I don't necessarily dislike it. That's probably just my least favorite thing. How much free time did you get? So, it's hard to put a number on it. We get quite a bit of time off. We have to do shows, obviously. We spotlight for the other shows, and we work all skate sessions. We don't have necessarily shifts as other departments might have. We just kind of follow our schedule when we have what. How often were you allowed in guest areas? Um, we could go in guest areas whenever we wanted, unless there was like a private event or something, but we could go into guest areas at any given second as long as we were dressed appropriately so we have to wear a name tag and we have to dress smart casual unless it's formal night then you have to be full-on formal what was your most memorable experience on this contract this is a really hard question because the whole experience itself was just incredible I would have to say opening and closing day because there's nothing quite like that feeling of opening a show for the first time and then to close it is just such a bittersweet moment. It, it brings everything full circle and, you know, you get so close with everyone. But bamboo rafting in Jamaica was also quite an experience. Um, it was pouring rain, but it was the coolest thing ever. For my last question, uh, this comes from Jackie's mom. Hi. What were you expecting the job to be like prior to your contract? Was there anything surprising about your job experience? The job was pretty much the same as what I expected. Obviously, you don't know until you're actually there experiencing it. We had a lot more time off than I imagined. I thought I would be working like 12 hours a day. The shows were 15 times more fun than I thought they would be. And because I knew a few people that did ships before, I knew that we had other responsibilities besides the shows. I don't think there was anything really surprising about my experience. That is all for this q and I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to pack in as many questions as possible. I'm really sorry if I forgot any of your questions. You can always send them to me or message me on Instagram, whatever you like. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Very happy to be home. Please stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands, self-isolate, and just be smart. Anyways, love you. See you next video. Bye, guys.